Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different, a little bit special. We're going to be highlighting several tool makers. Uh, these are small companies that make something specific, something that's very interesting. And a lot of these I'm sure you know about, um, but some of them you might not. And so I want to actually go through some of the tools that I use on a regular basis that are made by small time tool makers who do some amazing things. So let's dive in and take a look at these. Now, one of the problems I had when I was doing this is where do you actually classify small tool maker? Is it someone who does something else and for on the side, they make a tool? Is it someone who that's all they do is they make these tools? Or is it someone who has a small group of people making tools? Or is it like a big business where they have a warehouse? Um, and so I, I kind of played with the line a little bit. Some things here you might call a small tool maker and some things you won't. But they're specialty tools that are made for people like us who work with hand tools in the shop, but we just want something special that works really well. Also, all of the tools I have listed here, I'm going to have links to them in the description down below. I don't get any kickback, kickbacks from this. I just want to show off some of the cool things that are happening in our community. So let's actually start today with the Cat's Moses Dovetail Jig. Now, Cat's Moses has a channel that has absolutely been been exploding recently and he started off by making a few jigs like this and this is actually set up for doing dovetails and I have an entire video showing uh, using this it is a quick and easy way to get accurate dovetails so if you are learning to make dovetails uh, I usually tell people just try and cut it but this will guarantee you get a good edge, but you're still the one driving the saw. So you're still learning the technique. You're still learning how to hold the saw. This will just guarantee you're going to get a really nice clean edge. And most people with 30 seconds of training when one of these can make absolutely beautiful dovetails. And honestly, he sells them way too cheap. So definitely take a look at Cat's Moses. Um, I, I love these things. It is the one dovetail jig that I have in my shop. And I, I'm, yeah, it's a great one. Next up, I want to talk about Bearcat Woodworking. He makes these saws that are absolutely gorgeous. This is my dovetail saw from him. It has the, the wavy back. He actually has an entire video showing how to make these. And uh, he, he wanted to just show people how he made his saws. But then people said, no, I want the saw too. And so he started making them. And now he, uh, he, he has a, a waiting list on getting these saws. But I have to say, he sells these way too cheap. Uh, in comparison to other saws on the market, it is a fantastic deal. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They feel amazing. Mm. He also makes card scrapers and uh, these burnishers, which are a little bit different. That way they can sit on the card and they put the angle dedicated on there. It's with a carbide rod and does a really, really great job. And I use this one from time to time, especially when I'm getting into small curves. This little burnisher on here will allow me to burnish the edge really nice and quickly. But whenever I need a curved surface, I'm usually going to be reaching for this one. Having this little finger here gets into small corners. He made this basically for doing uh, almost Maloof style chairs because the curvatures are the ones you're going to be using quite a bit. So if you're using chairs, this is one card scraper that can do everything. Flat, curve, inside, outside. Um, really nice job. Next up, I want to give a shout out to my main man, the Hand Tool Rescue. And if you haven't seen his channel, what rock have you been hiding under? Um, <laughs> but he uh, he restores tools. Um, it was originally just hand tools, planes, and saws, but he's gotten into doing a lot of other things. Uh, recently, you know, a hundred year old washing machine that's gas powered. <laughs> really interesting, fun things. But I just spent a while up at his shop. We are restoring a lathe over here that is absolutely beautiful. Um, but I have one and he has one and we're going to be restoring them together. So I was up there and uh, he actually makes uh, these wrenches. They are, are replicas of a King Dick wrenches, but they're just really well done. This is one that I purchased a while ago when he first had them come out. Um, when I was up at his shop, he actually gave me this one, which is cute. And it was kind of like, well, where would I ever use this? Well, I've actually been using it quite a bit doing the restoration. There are times you just want to get into a small screw and these are absolutely great. So if you're looking for a good wrench, these are out of this world amazing. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I sell card scrapers and strops and I have these blue card scrapers that are, are really good. I'll try and leave a link to them down below. But these are actually made by a company called DFM Toolwork. And he has them with the, the blue finish on there, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I sell them on my website with the logo, but I also have a link on my website where you can go directly to buying his because he sells them cheaper um, on his site. You just have to spend more if you want my logo on there. And they're a fantastic quality card scraper. I just really love the blue and the shape, the feel of them. It's the right stiffness. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I love his card scrapers, and that's why they're the ones that I put a logo on, and I use them almost daily. He also sells several other things, but one that I am in love with recently is this dowel plate. 
Um, these are, are phenomenal. Uh, it was one of the nicest dowel plates I've ever had. And I have an entire video showing how to use this. They, <laughs> yeah, um, yes, I, I use this far more than I thought. I thought I would use it like once every six months. I find myself using it almost every week now. Anytime I need a precisely sized dowel, I can buy the ones from the store that kind of, kind of come oval and I can drive this through there and get exactly the size that I want. He also sells squares and burnishers and several other tools. Uh, he's kind of ramping up to being a, you know, a one man hand tool maker and doing some amazing job. He's only about an hour away from here. So I'm thinking one of these days I need to get over and do a, a tour of his shop. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know. He's also working on plane irons and chip breakers and I've got a prototype of his that I'm I'm really liking. This one has a, a bull-nosed chip breaker on it and I've been playing with this and I'm really looking forward to him actually selling these. Black Bear Forge, he is a blacksmith of another kind and he makes the holdfasts I've used. Now, if you've ever gotten holdfasts that are just a bent piece of metal, they work really well, but these with the forged surface actually hold well into the bench. Um, I, I really, really like these. And he actually makes them with different tips. You can actually get them with the leaf or the standard on there um, and there's a couple different sizes and types he have, offers as well also my planning stop on the bench is from one of his and I would pull it out but it's part of my bench right now um, but as blacksmiths go uh, he has so many good things I'm really eyeing getting one of his bowl ads uh, that is high on my list so hopefully here soon but definitely take a look at black bear forge if you need anything forged he's the guy I would go with next up I got to talk about red rose productions uh, he makes the most gorgeous wooden hand planes mold planes just out of this world beautiful and I made this this is actually a kit that I got from him it is a spill plane and it comes with the iron the screws the patterns and all and you just supply the wood to make this um, and I have a whole video on making this particular spill plane uh, fantastic job especially with the iron on this because it has such a weird shape to it it is beveled and skewed and absolutely gorgeous at the shop for Red Rose Production, he also has a screw for a bench made by Acer Ferris. I really like the name on it, but it is octagonal. And if you know anything about me, octagonal is just happy. So he's got this screw here with the, the square frame on here. Um, I, I'm in love with this one. This is on my old bench, um, and yes. So this is a, I have a whole video on putting this one together if you wanna see that as well. I love a good wooden screw, and that is one of my favorites. Along the lines of vices, I also have two others here that I absolutely love. This is the Hovarder vise, and it basically is a smooth shaft here, and I've got a crisscross on there, so I can slide it in and out, and at any point I can stop and turn the handle and it automatically locks down. So I can go from putting a board in that is this long and lock it down, I've got a vise in there, and then I can immediately turn and quick action it down to here and lock it into that. Uh, the Hovarder vise is absolutely amazing and I've had it now for almost two years and I use it all the time. Uh, just a quick action, smooth vise. I think I wish I would have gotten a wooden handle on here rather than this, um, but this is kind of fun. So if you ever want to steer your bench, um, yeah, the Hovarder vise is one that is very, is close to the top of my list. And then my other leg vise is Lake Airy Toolworks, which they also make a wooden screw that is phenomenal. They have several other kits for other types of wooden screws and the Moxing kit. They do some sweet work on there. But this one is my other leg vise and I, there's just something nice about a wooden screw that feels good, it's smooth and nice. Um, and their their work is just bar none. The, the beautifully smooth wood. Uh, so if you like the circle, Lake Erie is the way to go. If you like the octagon, then Acer Ferris is the way to go. They both make phenomenally good vices and just happy, happy work. Next, I have to give a shout out to Gramercy Tools. Now they're kind of on the edge. Are they a big tool maker or a small tool maker? And most of the things they make are small batches. So that's why I'm including them. Um, I have, this is a veneer cutting saw and I purchased this not too long ago when I did a vid video on how to cut veneer. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous work with the walnut handle on here. I'm really, really happy with this. I also got their kit for making a turning saw. It comes with all the ferrules, the blades, the cord, and they do some really serious work. I, I did a whole live series, uh, it's like three or four videos making this one a while ago. And so the kit actually comes with the, the brass connection so you can make the handle as well as the blade, the whole nine yards on this, and then all the directions you need to make your own turning saw. And that's not even scratching the surface of all the little things that Gramercy Tools has. Um, if you go to Tools for Working, 
painting wood. They have an amazing supply on there of small tools that are specifically made for people who really want to get into hand tool woodworking and they have something that's really nice. So definitely take a look at Gramercy Tools and Tools for Working Wood. Next I gotta talk about Blackburn Tools. Uh, he makes the frame saw kit that I use and it comes in a bunch of different sizes and you can get it with different thicknesses of blades, different lengths of blades. Uh, and I've made this kit what, three or four different times uh, for myself and other people, and I, I'm in love with it. Every time I get the chance to pull out this thing, it is incredibly fun. He also makes a kit for a kerfing saw. And when I first got started into resawing, I used the kerfing saw all the time. Um, I don't use it as much anymore now that my skill has gotten up to the point where I just don't think about it. But when you're first getting started, it's really nice because you can create a kerf all the way around the board that will help hold the saw in place and give you a nice pass on there the kerfing saw, and I have a video on making this as well if you want to see that. You may have noticed that many of the things I have in here are kits, uh, because I like actually making things myself, and I like it when someone supplies the metal parts and the things needed to make the kit, and then I can get the wood and I can source it the way I want, and I can kind of shape it around to fit how I like to work with things. Um, and that's one of the fun things about small makers, is that they tend to make the items that you need but then still give you the joy of making the tool. So I will have links to all of these below. I know there are lots of other companies out there. I would love to talk about Blue Spruce. I'd love to talk about H&T Gordon. And there's lots of others that, that do amazing jobs. So if there's something that you would like to show off, throw that down in the description below and I would love to see those items. Um, there are some amazing, amazing tool makers out there that are doing cool things. And I'd love to see more of their stuff in shops around the world. So I hope you like this. I know I'm not talking about how to make something today, but this is something that's been on my heart for a while because I love showing off things from someone who loves their craft and can make something that is exquisite and fun to use and you know that it came from someone who loves what they're doing as opposed to just a company with a factory. If you did like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have some particular company you'd like to share, throw that down there below as well. I'd love to see that. So I think that'll do it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. I know today we were talking about small tool makers, but Hand Tool Rescue, well, he is a, a small tool maker.